Hello, today I am working on my DIY uh, custom uh, snare and uh, I will leave links to the video of how that these things are built and it's just a simply a cut down drum. This is a piece of paneling and we've got little adjustable screws in it which when uh, before I get done I will flip it over and give you an idea. But the trigger is what I'm working on today and this is simply a piece of assemble and you need something around that thickness. The brass works better to me for triggers. That's a piezo transducer, uh, which is glued with a uh, crazy glue or super glue or you know, super glue. And uh, what we built these out of is the piezo, the piece of symbol, and this is a beverage can that you put over your drink and to keep it cool, the insulator uh, that's all this is. <clears throat> Yoga mat works the same way uh, so uh, if you don't have a beverage can cooler I always pick these up at the Dollar Tree <clears throat> and uh, I put two pieces on the bottom that's an inch round circle you can use squares and uh, one on each side because I get a better response to leave the piezo open and on top as you can see I made a little cone and it's just simply super glued on top of this and I just cut them just kind of made it a cone look and that's pretty well it so we're going to find the center of this and put this in the center I tried it over on the side here as you can see all the mess now what we will need to do, uh, of course, is the uh, beverage can or the yoga mat, a uh, pair of scissors to tape, to tape your piezo to the bottom. Uh, you may need some uh, double stick tape, a pair of pliers to adjust the bottom, which we will get into, a utility knife, and hot glue sticks with the hot glue uh, hot and ready to glue it and that's the way that we're going to do the bottom is what we're fixing to do okay let me get the center of this and uh, get it all glued in place and uh, we will flip it over and adjust it okay I've got this placed uh, you will need a measuring tape to center it up this is a 12 inch snare so it should be on 6 inches and you just kind of measure across to make sure that it's lined up and we're good to fly so what we will do I went ahead and took it outside and painted it all black in there that way it's not showing all this junk so let's flip it over and adjust it okay I loosened these screws up I've got little L brackets placed on the shell that way you don't ruin the shell uh, I've got three and uh, on it so you can move this up and down and that's how that we will adjust the head also, you will need this uh, stereo jack. In other words, it will have to where you can trigger both. There's the rim piezo. And you put it on the shell. Uh, I put mine at the bottom. That way, if you're doing a rim shot with your right or the left hand, you can catch it pretty good. And then it gets a pretty good cross stick trigger as well. So that's the place to put it. You may have to play around with it to position because the problem we have with double triggered stuff is cross feed. Okay, and then there's the wire, and uh, I spliced into it here. Uh, we will take this up. That's the purpose of the, the black electrical tape. It, yours can be red or whatever color. So let's adjust this and go from there. Okay, to adjust that, you will need a straight edge. Uh, this is just an old level from the Dollar Tree. And you will want it to stick above the shell of the drum about, I think it's a eighth of an inch, something other like that. But anyway, I've got it marked here. You can see about the thickness. And you just push it up from the bottom, keep it level all, way, all the way around until you up at that mark. And then you will just tighten the bottom down and uh, we will be ready to bolt the head on and try this. As you can see, uh, I need to snug these up, and uh, as you can see, it moves. That allows you to adjust it, and you just 
snug them up with a pair of pliers or a wrench that size. Whichever you prefer and that's it. Okay, we now have our snare together. Uh, the trigger is glued in, adjusted. Uh, when putting the head on, the mesh head, you will want to basically adjust it crisscross like you would your acoustic drums and to just get the feel like you would on your acoustic snare or tom, whatever you're working on. So now uh, let's test this. Uh, uh, before I get into the testing, if you want a rubber around the rim and you want to save a buck, folks, this is simply a uh, gas line. I think it's a 5 sixteenths gas line that you would buy or vacuum, gas or vacuum, either one will work. And what I've done, I just simply split this and cut it to fit and glued it with super glue. And now all you do is a uh, quartz cut, just snap it in around the uh, rim and you will have a rubber on it as well. Now you may have to adjust the sensitivity up a little bit uh, on the rim because it is a little thicker. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave mine and try. Uh, if I decide later to uh, use the rubber, I will. So let's test this baby out. Okay, first we're going to test the snare part. And uh, what we are looking for, first I'm going to go around the outer rim about an inch. Just go around. Why, why did I do that? Well, I didn't want crossfade. I didn't want to hear that here. And a lot of times, I put my piezo right down here at the bottom. That way when I'm doing a rim shot like this, or if I'm over here with my left hand, it will trigger pretty evenly. So you get a pretty good rim shot. And it gives you a pretty good rim click as well. If I, I had it on that. Uh, so when testing the rim mode, you kind of just want to take your drumstick, go around it. You just kind of want to make sure it's balanced. It is. Now if it's not as clear from your hi-hat back around to your tom, it might not matter that much. Uh, because you most likely are not going to be hitting it there. Mainly here and here. And here with the cross sticks. So as long as it works there, you're good to go. Uh, let's get a song on here and uh, in a moment and see how it sounds. Uh, we well we want to. And of course, as you get closer to the top, it's not going to be as sensitive. In which I helps on rolls, in my opinion. To me, it gives it a little more of an acoustic feel. Okay, let's put a song on and try this thing. Okay, I tested this and I left the sensitivity with the factory specs to see what happened. I'm going to lower the sensitivity just a little bit and try it again and what we will do we will go into the module and on my particular kit you go into the menu all of them kind of basically you want to find trigger okay there's the trigger and we want to enter it okay right now let's tap it it's the factory specs is 12 so I'm going to turn it down to 10 Okay, tap your rim, go down to rim until it's underlined. It's 14, so let's just drop it back to as well. Hit save, it says saving, okay, saved, okay. Okay, now we're ready uh, to try it once again and see what we got. So I'm going to run through the song just a little bit, short, brief, and see what we got.
Okay, to me, that worked out a little better. The only thing that I'm going to do, and I'm going to play it a while, is I'm going to tighten the uh, head up just a little more for my preference. And I think that it will trigger a little better when I do tighten the head up a little bit. You get it too loose, the, uh, the single mesh, uh, double mesh will work better. A triple mesh, uh, double will work better. Uh, it balances it out a little more. In my opinion, the balance is better, but I'm just running the DIY. If this works out, I'm going to buy me a probably a good two ply because, like I said, you can buy them just as cheap as you can build them, and you don't go through all the hard pulling and well, all of that goes along with it. But I'm going to tighten it down just a little more. Uh, when you get it too loose, it allows this stuff to kind of move a little too much and uh, you get it too tight uh, you, it's going to bounce too much uh, and i'm kind of in the middle of the road with this but i'm going to tighten it down and uh, play it a while and see what happens so that's pretty well it have a good one